Anthony Armand Ferguson Padilla is an American professional mixed martial artist. He currently competes in the lightweight division in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He is a former interim UFC lightweight champion. Ferguson debuted in 2008, and has been with the UFC since he won the Ultimate Fighter 13 in 2011. He is trained in freestyle wrestling, boxing, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, and Wing Chun. As of October 24, 2022, he is number 14 in the UFC lightweight rankings. Early Life Ferguson was born in Oxnard, California, on February 12, 1984, but grew up mainly in Muskegon, Michigan. He is of Mexican heritage. His surname of Ferguson comes from his Scottish-American stepfather. Ferguson was a three-sport athlete at Muskegon Catholic Central High School in American football, baseball, and wrestling. He was the starting defensive back for the 2000 Division VIII state football champions and was a three-time All-State selection in wrestling, winning the 152 LB division in 2002. After high school, Ferguson enrolled at Central Michigan University before transferring to Grand Valley State University. He also did a stint at Muskegon Community College. He did not complete his degree, but had a successful collegiate wrestling career, winning the 2006 National Collegiate Wrestling Association National Wrestling Championship in the 165 LB division. Following college, Ferguson moved back to California to be closer to his extended family, working in marketing and sales during the day and picking up shifts as a bartender at night. One night, while working a bar shift, a patron noticed Ferguson's cauliflower ear and struck up a conversation about his wrestling background. The patron was a trainer at a local MMA gym and invited him to work with some young mixed martial artists on their wrestling. Shortly after this, he decided to pursue a professional mixed martial arts career. Mixed martial arts career Early career Ferguson began his professional MMA career fighting in small organizations around California in 2007. Notable matches in his early career include a win over kickboxing champion Joe Schilling and a loss to future world extreme cage fighting fighter Karen Darabadian. I The Ultimate Fighter Slash I None. Ultimate Fighting Championship Ferguson officially made his UFC debut at the Ultimate Fighter 13 finale against Ramsey Najem to determine the winner of the Ultimate Fighter 13. Ferguson defeated Najem by knockout in the first round to win a UFC contract. He also received the knockout of the night bonus. Following his debut, Ferguson returned to lightweight and faced Aaron Riley on September 24. 2011, at UFC 135. The fight was stopped after the first round after Riley said he had a broken jaw, resulting in a TKO victory for Ferguson. Ferguson then faced MMA veteran Eve Edwards at the Ultimate Fighter 14 finale. Ferguson won via unanimous decision. Ferguson was expected to face Dennis Hallman on May 5, 2012, at UFC on Fox. Diaz vs. Miller. Hallman pulled out of the bout with an injury and replaced by Thiago Tavares. Then, Tavares was forced out of the bout with an injury and replaced by Michael Johnson. Ferguson lost the fight by unanimous decision. After over a year away from competition while healing an arm injury incurred in his last fight, Ferguson returned to face Mike Rio on October 19, 2013 at UFC 166. He won by DR's choke submission in the first round. The win also earned him his first submission of the night award. Ferguson faced Katsunori Kikuno on May 24, 2014, at UFC 173. He won the fight by knockout in the first round. Ferguson was expected to face Danny Castillo on August 2, 2014 at UFC 176. After UFC 176 was cancelled, Castillo slash Ferguson was rescheduled and took place on August 30, 2014, 
at UFC 177. Ferguson won the fight via split decision. Ferguson faced Abel Trujillo on December 6, 2014, at UFC 181. Ferguson won the bout in the second round by submission. Ferguson was expected to face Yancy Medeiros on February 28, 2015, at UFC 184. Medeiros pulled out of the bout, citing injury, and was replaced by Glazon Tybo. Ferguson won the fight by submission in the first round which also earned him a performance of the night bonus. Ferguson faced Josh Thompson on July 15, 2015, at UFC Fight Night 71. He won the fight via unanimous decision and earned his second straight performance of the night bonus. Ferguson was expected to face Khabib Nurmagomedov on December 11, 2015, at the Ultimate Fighter 22 finale. Nurmagomedov pulled out of the fight in late October, citing injury, and was replaced by Edson Barboza. After a back and forth first round that had Ferguson docked one point due to an illegal upkick, Ferguson finished Barboza with a DR's choke submission in the second round. He earned his third consecutive performance of the night bonus as well as a fight of the night bonus. A rematch with Michael Johnson was briefly scheduled for March 5, 2016 at UFC 196. On January 27, it was announced that Johnson withdrew from the bout due to injury. In turn, the bout with Nurmagomedov was rescheduled and expected take place on April 16, 2016, at UFC on Fox 19. On April 5, Ferguson pulled out of the bout due to a lung issue. He was replaced by promotional newcomer Daryl Horcher. Ferguson was expected to face Michael Chisa on July 13, 2016, at UFC Fight Night 91. Chisa pulled out of the fight on June 27, citing injury, and was replaced by promotional newcomer Lando Vanatta. Ferguson won his second straight fight via DR's choke and was awarded another fight of the night bonus. Ferguson fought former champion Rafael Dos Anjos on November 5, 2016, at the Ultimate Fighter Latin America 3 finale. He won the fight by unanimous decision. Both participants were awarded fight of the night which gave Ferguson his sixth post-fight bonus in his past five fights. The pairing with Nurmagomedov was scheduled for a third time at UFC 209, this time for the interim UFC lightweight championship. Prior to the weigh-ins for the event, Nurmagomedov was hospitalized due to the ill effects of his weight cut, and the bout was cancelled yet again. Ferguson faced Kevin Lee on October 7, 2017 at UFC 216 for the interim UFC lightweight championship. He won the bout by triangle choke submission in the third round. A bout with Nurmagomedov had been scheduled for the fourth time on April 7, 2018, at UFC 223. On April 1, 2018, Ferguson reportedly tore his fibular collateral ligament while walking on the set for a pre-fight media obligation and was forced to withdraw from the event. Ferguson faced Anthony Pettis on October 6, 2018, at UFC 229. He won the bout via corner stoppage after two rounds. Pettis' longtime cornerman and coach, Duke Rufus, informed the referee that he would not continue after suffering a broken hand. Their performance earned both participants fight of the night honors. Ferguson next faced Donald Cerrone on June 8, 2019, at UFC 238. He won the fight via TKO due to a doctor stoppage after Cerrone blew his nose between rounds 2 and 3 which caused his swollen right eye to completely close, rendering him unable to continue. This fight earned both participants fight of the night honors. Ferguson was scheduled to face Khabib Nurmagomedov for the UFC lightweight championship on April 18, 2020, at UFC 249, but after Nurmagomedov was unable to leave Russia due to restricted air travel as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, 
Ferguson then agreed to compete for the interim UFC lightweight championship against a late replacement in Justin Gaethje at the event. On April 9, UFC President Dana White announced that this event was postponed and the bout eventually took place on May 9, 2020. He was outstruck by Gaethje for all five rounds, eventually losing the fight via TKO in the fifth round. This fight earned both participants fight of the night honors. Ferguson faced Charles Oliveira on December 12, 2020, at UFC 256. He lost the fight via unanimous decision after being controlled on the ground for most of the fight. Ferguson faced Benil Dariush on May 15, 2021, at UFC 262. He lost the fight via unanimous decision after again being controlled on the ground for the majority of the match. Ferguson faced Michael Chandler on May 7, 2022 at UFC 274. After dropping Chandler in the first, he lost the fight via knockout in the second round. Ferguson was scheduled to return to the welterweight division to face Li Jingliang on September 10, 2022 in the CO main event of UFC 279. However, Ferguson instead moved up to the main event to face Nate Diaz, after his original opponent Kamzat Kimov was pulled from their fight due to missing weight. Ferguson lost the fight via a guillotine choke submission in the fourth round. Personal Life Ferguson has a son, Armand Anthony, with his wife, Christina Ferguson. In March 2019, Christina filed a restraining order against Tony, alleging uncharacteristic behavior such as severe paranoia, not sleeping for days, tearing apart their home fireplace, and believing that a tracking chip was inserted into his leg during reconstructive knee surgery. She did not allege physical abuse, and filed the restraining order as a precautionary measure to get him help for his mental state. By April 2019, she had dropped the order, and he began to resume MMA. Ferguson is known as one of MMA's most eccentric personalities. He constructed his own custom training apparatus at his house in Big Bear Lake, California, and regularly posts videos of his unique workouts on his personal Instagram page. These include using a Wing Chun dummy smacking his arms and legs against metal poles to build bone strength throwing baseballs off a pitcher's mound to build power for right-hand punches, swinging a hammer while balanced on a gym ball, and somersault jumps over tall stacks of gym mats. Fellow fighters have regularly commented on these unorthodox routines, and other fighters such as Bel Al Muhammad have even parroted Ferguson's training videos on their own personal social media pages. Ferguson has written on his Twitter account that he eschews sparring in training as he finds it limits my creativity when fighting. Championships and Accomplishments Amateur Wrestling National Collegiate Wrestling Association NCWA National Champion NCWA All-American North Central Conference Champion Michigan High School Athletic Association MSA Division 4 State Champion MSA Division 4 All-State Mixed Martial Arts Ultimate Fighting Championship Interim UFC Lightweight Championship The Ultimate Fighter 13 Winner Fight of the Night vs. Edson Barboza, Lando Vanatta, Rafael Dos Anjos, Anthony Pettis, Donald Cerrone, and Justin Gaethje Knockout of the Night vs. Ramsey Najem Submission of the Night vs. Mike Rio Performance of the Night vs. Edson Barboza, Josh Thompson, and Glazon Tybo Most Consecutive Wins in UFC Lightweight Division Pure Combat Pure Combat Welterweight Championship World MMA Awards 2018 Fight of the Year vs. Anthony Pettis Mixed Martial Arts Record Mixed Martial Arts Exhibition Record